Welcome back everyone. In the previous part of this tutorial, we improved the movement of the drone by adding rotation. In this part, you will learn how to land the drone. Go to editor and create a new button called land. Place the button on the bottom left corner and set the anchor to bottom left. By default, this button should be hidden. We will enable it when we click the fly button. Go to Game Manager script. Add a new variable called land button. Like what we did with fly button, add a new function that will handle the unclick event. Go to editor and assign land button. Before adding the logic to land the drone, let's learn about the remaining animation states. If you run the game and go to drone animation controller, you will see that after finishing the takeoff, the drone will execute the flying state in a loop. To land the drone, we have to add the logic to move to landing and moving blend tree state, then to landing state, and finally to idle state. Landing and moving blend tree state will start the process of landing by reducing the altitude of the drone and move it to the ground. In order to move to this state, we have to set the value of move down to true. The drone will then move to the landing state. At this stage, the propeller will start reducing its speed till it stops. After finishing this animation, the drone will move automatically to the idle state. Let's now add the logic to land the drone. Go to Drone Controller Script. Add new states to drone state. In drone state landing, set move down to true to trigger the process of landing. Add the code to transition from different states.
Add two new public methods, one to check if the drone is flying and the other one to trigger the landing process. Go to Event on Click Land button in Game Manager Scripts. Call the landing from Drone Controller and enable Fly button. Run the game. You should now be able to fly the drone, control it when in flying state, then land it. This is the end of this part. Thanks for watching and see you on the next part.